and I came back out and this little perch on my bobber rod. So he was after a pretty large minnow. So that means they're hopefully a little bit hungry. Um, but yeah, so we're back out here. Connor just went to the red shack over there and Sam is currently coming into his blue shack. So the neighbors over there said they caught a bunch of them yesterday about 12 o'clock, which is right now. So uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated. That all happened really fast, boys, but we just caught ourselves a dandy here. Um, we're gonna go measure them here in a minute, but I would guess probably low 20s. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what happened, but uh, I was just jigging and uh, set it down for a minute to grab something on my bobber rod and picked it back up and he fouled it to about a foot above the bottom and just hammered it. Beautiful walleye, nice and fat, nice and chunky. So, good eater. And uh, we're gonna go get a measurement on it and uh, brag about it to the boys here. Yeah, very excited. This is my first big walleye of the trip, so. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. So he went 20 and a half, guys. Can we take a picture of you with it? I, I think Connor got a picture okay. of me with it, yeah. First big walleye of the trip for me. Yeah. And he's a little bit feisty, but there we go. You guys, I'm gonna try my best here. Got another fish on. I don't know what it is. Feels like another walleye. And uh, he's fighting. Oh, he came off. No, he's on there. He's on there, guys. He's on there. He's on my bobber rod. Yep, he is. Yep, he is. Yep, he is. Oh, I don't know how much of that I got on camera there, guys, but that was pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna get the hook out of him here. Okay. Another nice big walleye here, boys. I'd say probably lower to mid 20s um but a lot fatter and a lot stouter than the one i just caught so jeez what a beautiful fish i had a little bit of a problem there i don't know again i don't know how much of that i got on video but um what happened was i i thought i caught him on my jig rod or my jigging rod it went slack and it uh and my jig popped up but it had my bobber rod line wrapped around it and i grabbed my bobber rod and i started reeling and he was on that one nice big walleye so hey, we're gonna go get a measurement on her Do you see him? No, is that a walleye? No, that's a perch. You can see this. Oh, lines. yeah. It's a uh, decent perch. Yeah, dang it. He's flying away. Jeez. Did he just nail it again? He just absolutely destroyed it. So, like, I, I was jigging with my jig rod, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm really trying to get a hook set on video for you guys and like a full catch and everything, but I just caught this perch and it is a good sized perch. So, just got also have that one from earlier, but um, yeah, still using this pink spoon here. So, and we're gonna throw him in the pile. Yep. Okay. Hammered it. Oh, yeah. Big guy, big guy. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. No way. <laughs> He's got my bob rod in there, too. Holy smokes, boys. Look at that stud. Look at that Red Lake stud right there. How fat that thing is, Evan. Holy cow. My bob rod is just absolutely annihilated right now, but that's fine. I'm not even mad about it, to be honest. <laughs> that is a stun of a fish. Watch your rod. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> check this one out, boys. Okay. Look at those nasty teeth. Holy cow. Get her? That is easily my biggest walleye through the ice ever. Maybe, maybe even my biggest walleye ever right there, boys. It's a good looking fish, good healthy fish. We're gonna get a couple pictures and we'll, we'll get her back down the hole here. We wanna keep these ones in the population, so. There she goes. Let's go, dude, that was awesome. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go. They don't wanna come in. They are just scrappy. Oh yeah, look at there. I can't even see that lure. That fish just... Oh, isn't that cool? Come on. There. Look at that. You know, Red Lake is probably one of the best, one of the best fisheries around for just catching numbers of fish. But there's some pretty decent fish in here too. You know, you'll see fish up to 25 inches, but you know, it's, it's a fishery right now where you can come out here and realistically, you know, a lot of cases catch 50 fish a day. A lot of them are going to be that, you know, 13 to 18 inch range, but you're going to get a few kickers too. And, and 
you know, the thing is, just it's just so much action. I mean, you're going to have fish on the screen all the time when you find that right zone. Nice fish. All right. That was a dandy. You know what we're doing here is, you know, after dark on Red Lake, glow red, glow orange, uh, gold can be a really good color too during the day, but, you know, it's dark outside, and the neat thing about Red Lake is you can catch walleyes all day long, and catch them all night long. The action can never stop, but one thing I've been doing though is I've been just charging this up a little bit here. Charging it up from time to time. And after dark especially, those glow, glow color patterns can really kick in. You know, what's also interesting is, you know, during the day, First got set up, I was getting a lot more action on the dead rod. Now that it's gotten dark, they're coming in and hitting the jigging rod more so. But that can change back and forth. You'll get a flurry of fish where every one of them hits a jigging rod. Sometimes they hit both rods. Then you'll get a few come through that don't want to touch the jigging rod and they hit the dead rod. So it's nice to give those fish two different options like this. Dead rod strikes. <laughs> oh yeah, look at there. Here it comes. There. It's just a perfect eater. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. Just have a buckshot rattle spoon and I replace the treble hook. I take the treble hook off and I put just a long shank hook, but that way when a fish hits that middle it can pivot towards the fish. But the weight of that spoon keeps that middle from going anywhere. So just a nice Nice technique for dead sticking. There. You know, one thing I like to do with, with dead rods is, you, know, you see that's just a buckshot rattle spoon. It's got a long shank hook on it. And basically I like to nick this minnow right behind the head, go right through the hide, right behind the gill. Just like that, and that minnow can really, really roll on the hook. But the other thing I like about it is usually that, usually these walleyes and perch will grab the minnow out the head, and then that way you've got you've got the hook somewhere near the fish's mouth. And what happens by rigging them up this way is a lot of times you don't have to wait very long before you before you set the hook. You know that rod tip dunks, you don't have to count, you don't have to wait. You can pretty much just lift up on that rod and, and hook them right away. And I'm just using a light action rod for dead sticking. I like to use a light rod. This here's a 28 inch meat stick rod and you can see that light tip. You'll just watch that tip, that tip will be working when that minnow gets a little frantic when a fish moves in then that rod tip will just dunk down when you when a, when a walleye hits. You know in places like Red Lake, Lake of the Woods, a lot of times you know you can just stick those minnows about oh four to six inches off the bottom and usually that's about perfect. Usually they're right along the bottom. Hit it with some ambition. Nice to see. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Look at that, big old head shakes. There, there's a nice walleye. You know, what makes Red Lake so neat for so many different anglers is you just you have an opportunity to catch a lot of fish. You know, and, and I, I meet so many people over the course of the year, whether it's at sports shows or people that send emails where they want to learn more about their electronics, they, they want to learn more about using a specific lure, whatever it is, you know, and, and the best teacher is just is just getting out and doing it. And, and what makes Red Lake pretty special for a lot of walleye anglers is that you have so many fish that roll through underneath you that, you know, if, if you don't have confidence in something, you can come out here and get confident because you're going to get a lot of opportunities. You're going to see a lot of fish. Get that fish in the water, but yeah, that's a great way to end the night. Come on. There we go. Nice. Sweet.
that is a super big one. Awesome. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. It's got one treble. Okay. It's edgy. There. Oh, my, my word. <laughs> wow. There you go. Holy yeah, cow. Thanks for the help on that one, Jeez. Yes. That's a serious hog right there. It came in out of nowhere and just smoked it too. It's a dandy. Nice. Nice wide tail. Sweet. Congrats, Sweet. bud. Yeah, thanks for landing them. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna lose them. That's gotta be my biggest red lake. Yeah, you don't see those every day. No, they don't get too big here, do they? All right, so it's about 4:30 or so. We just wrapped up fishing with the boys and bro, and it was a solid day. How would you describe the day? Uh, slow but steady, and lots of uh, eater fish and a few bigs. There's some there's some big fish swimming around here, and Kyle popped a good one. You had one on. Yep. So they're around and. Where else can you go and get this quality of fish as far as table fare and just a good fun fun day where we can You know chase around the ice and talk to each other it was a good good fun time. Yeah, no, I agree 100% one thing that was super interesting too about uh, The fish today is they're really chunky. Oh, yeah, they're, they're big they're, boys. They're these fish are well fed uh, There's a lot of spot tail shiners in this body of water. There's also emerald shiners uh, there's uh, white fish in here and a few tulip bees and I actually caught one today and normally get white fish But this was an actual tulip bee so it was a it was a really cool day and, and there's a lot of pike in here and they get big also So lastly as someone who's way more observant on the water than I am What would you say is was like one big key to success today? It was, it was absolutely red glow and gold brings them in didn't try any droppers on it or anything red glow uh, glow shot spoon, the light stick really helped, and I caught fish on a prototype lure really fast, but out of fairness, I took it off. Kind of equal the advantage with all you guys, but uh, <laughs> there there is something coming out that's going to be pretty pretty good. All right, on. Well, it was a fun day with Bro and the Northland guys, and of course, cameraman extraordinaire Nick Gall. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and 